Hey there! Hello and welcome back to Bio Pandit. This is Saurav, your very own Maha Pandit. And today I am going to discuss about translated nucleotide to protein basic local alignment search tool, otherwise known as Blastex. An important goal of genomics is to determine if a particular sequence is like another sequence. This is accomplished by comparing the new sequence with sequences that have already been reported and stored in the databases. Global sequence alignment is a powerful tool to identify homologous sequences. Whereas, local sequence alignment is another powerful tool to identify conserved functional sequence motifs. So, if you have a new sequence with unknown function, you need to align your sequence with the available sequences in the database. This analysis can tell you two things. One, whether public databases contain any sequence that can be a potential homologue of your newly derived sequence. And two, whether your sequence contains some known functional motif present in other protein families. So, just for a basic introduction, global alignment looks for comparison over the entire range of two sequences involved. This method does not always work very well because in many cases only a portion of the two sequences can be aligned. By contrast, when a local alignment is performed, a small, highly similar sequence motif that is present in both sequences is uncovered. And then, starting from this seed, the alignment is quickly extended. Basic Local Alignment Search Tool or BLAST is the most widely used local alignment search tool in the world. Simply speaking, BLAST uses a robust statistical framework that can determine if the alignment between a query sequence and a target sequence found in the database is statistically significant. This is the web interface of BLAST. There are four different types of BLASTs like nucleotide BLAST, protein BLAST, translated nucleotide to protein BLAST, and protein to translated nucleotide BLAST. Which one you are going to use depends on what sequence you have and what your aim is. Here we have an unknown genomic sequence and we want to identify whether it includes some coding region. So we shall perform BLASTX to compare the query sequence against a protein database. Paste your sequence in FASTA format here. Provide a name for your BLAST run. Now, see there are different databases available for BLAST run. We have prepared an excellent video on which database to choose for BLAST run to help you with this. The link of this video is provided in the description. Now, see there is an option to exclude model sequences and uncultured sample sequences. If you get blast hits against them, it can be difficult to explain the results. See here. Maximum target sequences is how many maximum possible blast hits you want. See this option word size. This is crucial to the first step of running blast. A word is a series of characters from the query sequence. The default length of blastx search is 6 characters. A sliding window is used to break the sequences into segments of six residues each. These segments are called words. 
these words are then compared against a sequence in a database. Here is an example of a word matching with a target protein. This search is performed for all words. Once a match is found, a scoring matrix algorithm computes the local alignment score. See that in all three blasts involving protein sequences, that is blast P, blast X and T blast N, you have an option to choose that scoring matrix. Blossom 62 is the default matrix, but you can use other matrices as well depending on your aim. After finding the initial matches, the local alignment is extended in both directions until the alignment score decreases in value. Here is an example of a local alignment performed by BLAST after the run is complete. The center line provides the following information. A letter designates an identity between the two sequences. A plus sign means the two sequences are similar but not identical. If no symbol is given, then a non-similar substitution has occurred. Gaps are also introduced in the alignment and you can choose your gap penalties here during each blast run. Alignments whose alignment score does not decrease are then compared with the scores obtained by random searches. The idea is if there is a certain degree of homology, then the obtained sequence similarity cannot be regenerated by any random search in the database. So, against a pool of random searches, the expected probability of finding the observed sequence similarity is computed. The lower the probability, the less likely that your alignment is a random hit and the more likely that it is a signature of true homology. Now, this expected probability depends on two factors. First, the size and quality of the alignment and second, the size of the database against which comparison is being made. BLAST offers you to choose this expected probability threshold during each BLAST run. Take a low expected threshold if you want phylogenetically very similar sequences. Take a high expected threshold if you want more and more dissimilar sequences. Choose it according to your aim. The local alignments that satisfy the expected threshold are then combined to generate a report. The BLAST output begins with a description of the version of the BLAST used and some details on the database and the query sequence used in the search. Then there is a graphic summary that shows alignments of database matches to the query sequence. BLAST is designed to identify local regions of sequence similarity. This means BLAST may report multiple discrete regions of sequence similarity between a query sequence and a subject sequence in a database. Here we have used a unknown genomic sequence containing both introns and exons that is being matched with mature exonic mRNA sequences in the database. Naturally, introns in the query sequence will not match and here you can see multiple alignment blocks in our BLAST output. The color of the boxes correspond to the scores of the alignment. Scrolling further down, we find a summary table that shows all the sequences in the database that show significant homology to the query sequence. By default, the results are sorted according to the increasing order of the E value. You can see the alignment lengths, alignment scores, and sequence identity here. And finally, there is a section showing all the alignment blocks for each BLAST hit. The sequence alignments show us how well our query sequence matches with the target sequences in the database. Each alignment block 
begins with the summary of the maximum score, E value, sequence identity and the number of gaps in the alignment. The alignment consists of three lines, the query sequence, the matching sequence and the target sequence. So this is all about BLAST for now guys, see you soon.